It looks like they're playing soccer, but what are they wearing? Those are plastic bubbles. We decided to do bubble soccer because we saw a video of it and it looked really fun. Bubble soccer is something that creates a spectacle. As you can see, people were out here all day just watching even if they weren't playing, so that was kind of our goal. Seniors in the sport management program hosted the first ever bubble soccer tournament at WSU this past Saturday. Bubble soccer rules are pretty similar other than there's a lot more contact and instead of penalty kicks, we do runoffs, so they knock people over in balls, which is pretty funny. And there was a lot of contact for the 85 players who signed up, from kickoff to the runoffs. Ouch. The five minute games were a comical sight with plenty of crashes, balls, tumbles, more crashes, and hey, look at that, a goal. Team Brady's balls defeated 15 other teams, winning the single elimination tournament and a nifty trophy. Team captain Anders Lindbergh says the bubble itself adds some difficulty to the game. Uh, you can't see like at all and just trying to keep your feet while everyone's bouncing off you is kind of tough. So uh, you just kind of hope you get the ball it, like right in front of you, right next to the net and have an open shot and that's just about it. The tournament raised more than $1,000, which will go toward a sport management scholarship. So if regular soccer just isn't exciting enough for you, try bubble soccer. For Murrow News 8, I'm Hannah Ray Lambert.